already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past. We'll talk about the present time. We'll go over the challenge and then we'll see what the outcome is going to be. So Taurus, in the recent past, we got the lovers and the chariot. Now the lovers is beautiful. It's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. It's possible that when this card appears, you were feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation in your life. It could have been that your heart was telling you one thing and your head was telling you another. Now the thing to do is within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time. And that's either fear or love. So when you get the lover's card, it's saying that you should choose love because it's, it's a time when um, love is brought to you in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. So this is either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, you'll be quite happy about how romance is going. Others would have noticed how you were glowing in the recent past. Now, it's with the chariot card, which indicates a lot of energy, but it's not a free-for-all energy. It's directed, controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So when this card appears, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Now this card is about determination, ambition. It's about getting things done and testing and proving that you've got what it takes. It's a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in your mind and in your heart, give it your best shot. Remember though, you'll have to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. So basically the lover's card in the chariot is saying, it's showing that there was a deep love there was some type of, uh, you could, in the recent past, you probably fell in love. That's what the lover's card is about. It was a coming together, a union. Could have been a soulmate. Some um, deep love here. It was a strength of two. Um, and it looks like it just took off really fast with the chariot here. Or you or your person was pressuring something to go really fast. Something to just take off. Just tempted, to, maybe tempted to go too far too fast with something. Or either the connection just felt like it was going 100 miles an hour. And it felt good because the lover's card is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it probably felt like you were falling in love and it just happened really fast. That could be another storyline that I'm getting. It just happened right away because it was a soulmate. Both of you just fell. Fell for each other and fell in love just instantaneously. Soulmate, or it could be a twin flame. It's the lover's card. It's associated with Gemini, the twins. Now let's move on over and let's take a look at the present time coming up for August. We've got the Five of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Now the Five of Cups, it reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you could find yourself asking, what what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication will probably be clear. For example, are you gonna cry over spilt milk or are you gonna focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things? The point is, it's important to watch where you put your focus coming up in August and make sure that your focus is for the highest good. Because of the Five of Cups, there's some disappointment that's in this picture. A relationship that you're in may have just ended or could be in the process of ending. 
So it's going to be important to watch where you put your focus. Now to the Queen of Cups, which indicates a woman who will be helpful to you. The Queen reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work. And that's even possible when we work in a factory with objects all day rather than people. Things are probably better in your working world when this card appears than you're realizing. The Queen of Cups is a very positive outlook about a relationship. Yeah, very positive. The Queen of Cups is a nurturing person, healing and very supportive. But there's disappointment here. Okay, because the Five of Cups is about loss, regret, grief, feeling abandoned or unloved. But then you've got this very loving person here. So during, during your disappointment, or your loss with this Five of Cups, it looks like you could be dealing with someone that wants to heal whatever is broken. Someone wants to heal this disappointment. It could be the person that you're involved with. It could be you. You could want to make things right with whoever you're disappointed with. Or whatever you're disappointed about but I'm picking up that um, it could be someone um, that you know that that wants to help you get through this disappointment but I'm, I have a strong feeling that it is the person that you're dealing with or either you you want to heal this disappointment you want to make things right now, let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Challenge, we got the World card and the Nine of Pentacles, which is about, well, the World card is about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way, so make sure you don't quit. You're probably in need of some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it because you're getting closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. When it comes to work, it's a good chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition and money so it's important if this is the case to toot your own horn just to make sure that, that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments the world card is with the nine of pentacles which is one of the most uplifting encouraging cards in the tarot it can mean that your financial worries are over for a while they're over for a while and um, things will be going better than you thought possible. So you want to enjoy this good energy and share your wealth and happiness with others. With, with the Nine of Pentacles, it's a, when it comes to love, it's about a relationship that could go to the next level, rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. Um, you'll be enjoying finer things in life uh, with the nine of pinnacles and things are good overall because it's just short of one pinnacle ten of pinnacles is the tops so things are looking really good and because it's with the world card it looks like for you to get this nine of pinnacles you need to close out a cycle or a chapter in your life yeah you need to close out something it's it's the end of a journey. The end of a chapter that needs to take place. That's what it's saying. It needs to take place so that you could um, experience maybe a new connection. Something good like the Nine of Pentacles. So that's a challenge. Now let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Now we got the King of Cups and we got the Four of Swords. The King of Cups is a balanced male and feminine energy which holds all positive qualities, both masculine and feminine. 
Often it indicates an actual person in your life who's very kind and loving. This person could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get the King of Cups. There is an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is when you get this card. So allow others to nurture you and nurture yourself. King of Cups is beautiful. It's a king. And he's got a cup in his hand. So there's someone that wants to offer you a cup of love. Someone great. This person will be warm and friendly and very tolerant. Now it's with the Four of Swords. It's showing a need for a break. Could be from normal life. Uh, this could mean that someone in your life could withdraw for a time, but the withdrawal is not permanent. It could mean um, time, just time away. Maybe in the hospital. That's just an example. I'm not um, predicting anything. But um, you could be feeling like you need some time and space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word because if you're pushing the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. So that's interesting. You got someone that's uh, very loving here in, for the outcome. This could be a new person coming towards you. Or it could be the person that you're dealing with. It could be a family member. They see that you, you need some rest after some type of struggle here. If you can see the picture of this Four of Swords, it's the card below the word outcome. Looks like this man went up to the mountaintops and he went up to the top of the mountain and maybe he took his dog with him and he took four swords with him and a candle. He has no intentions of coming down anytime soon because he actually, the candle is lit. He put it in a shoe that's below his foot. So when it gets dark, he'll still be there. And if he needs to use those swords, he'll use them just to continue to get some rest after some type of struggle. But then we got somebody that's uh, coming in, offering a cup of love. It could be your soulmate from the recent past. Now, when you hear the word recent past, that could be last week. That could be a month ago, three months ago. Or it could be um, more. You got, a, you got a lot of people in this reading. You got a true pair, the King and Queen of Cups. And then you got another true pair here, the Lover's card, this twin flame. So something's going on. This reading is kind of all over the place. There's something going on with the true pair that should be going, that should be coming your way in August or sometime maybe before or Sometime around August, could go into September, but there's too many true pairs in this reading. So you got a soulmate coming. Or maybe a twin flame. But it looks like the challenge is that you're going to have to close out a cycle. Just to get some of the good that's in this reading. Just to get that. You got to end a journey or... Close out a chapter maybe with someone that, that's still in your um, that's still in your memory. Yep, so that's what I got for you, Taurus. So I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those, 
Taurus, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that 2020 is looking up for you all and hope that you're staying safe and taking good care of yourself during these uh during this crazy season that we're having. So stay strong. Come back and check out the next Taurus reading just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. I hope you have a great day and I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching and I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care.